book is called Have Fun, Molly Lou Mellon. It's written by Patty Lovell and illustrated by a fabulous illustrator, David Cattrall. Here's our title page again. Have Fun, Molly Lou Mellon. And the author who writes the words is Patty Lovell and it's illustrated, that means he drew the pictures, yes. David Cattrall. Molly Lou Mellon's toy chest overflowed with whoosie whatsits of all shapes and sizes. Her grandma had told her, back in the olden days, I didn't have fancy dolls or action figures. I made them out of twigs, leaves, and flowers like hollyhocks and daisies. Do any of you have rooms with this many toys? So she did just that. What did she do? And how do you think she feels about it? I see your mouth is going like, Molly Lou Mellon's backyard had a big weeping willow and crumbly rock walls with thingamajigs peeking out from every crevice. Her grandma told her, back in the olden days, I didn't have store-bought dollhouses. I made one in my backyard. So she did. I'd like to play there. Molly Lou Mellon's garage was full of colorful boxes and crates. Her grandma told her, back in the olden days, I didn't have a race car. I sat in a cardboard box and sped down the hill. So she did just that. Wow, how do you think she created that? Molly Lou Mellon lay on her back in the tall, willowy grass. Her grandma had told her, back in the olden days, I didn't have a television. I watched the clouds that floated by, and I saw lots of things in them. So she did just that. What do you see? One day, new neighbors moved in next door. When Molly Lou Mellon went to welcome their little girl, she heard Gertie say to her mom, I'm bored, bored, bored. Molly Lou Mellon invited Gertie over to play. On Monday, Gertie brought over her darling Darla deluxe dollhouse, complete with an electric mixer and working chandelier. Molly Lou Mellon showed Gertie her tree root palace complete with acorn cap dinner plates, woven leaf air conditioning system, and cicada jacuzzi. Gertie was amazed. How do you think Molly Lou is feeling? On Tuesday, Gertie drove over in her battery operated fully loaded Coupe de Ville. Molly Lou Mellon screamed right before hurtling down the hill in her turbo box car, hand painted with orange and red flames. Gertie was amazed. On Wednesday, Gertie was going to call Molly Lou Mellon on her cell phone, but then she heard a strange sound coming from an old tin can that was dangling in her window. This is the operator. Will you accept a call for Molly Lou Mellon? Uh, yes. Gertie spoke into the can. Great, come on over. Click. Gertie was amazed. On Thursday, Gertie asked Molly Lou Mellon if she'd like to come over and watch cartoons on her big screen TV. It's 120 inches wide. Molly Lou Mellon said, 
not today, thanks. I'm gonna go watch the clouds. They're sky wide. Gertie was amazed. On Friday, Gertie brought over a homemade doll with a frilly hollyhock skirt and violets for hair. It's for your palace, she said. And this time, Molly Lou Mellon was amazed. On Friday evening, Molly Lou Mellon and Gertie were tired, tired, tired from playing all week. They lay down in the tall willowy grass, looking up into the clouds. I see a butterfly, Gertie giggled, and a penguin in a refrigerator. What do you see? Molly Lou Mellon opened her eyes wide and grinned, her biggest grin. I see a grandma-shaped cloud winking at me. And Molly Lou Mellon winked right back. The back of this book says, the best thing to play with is a huge imagination. And that's true. I'm sure you all have so many really cool, fun toys. But what I'm wondering, what your challenge is, is what can you play with that you can't buy in a store? So find something today that you can't buy from a store. You can make something, you can cook with it, you can build with it, do whatever you want. Use lots of things. But be like Molly Lou Mellon and see if you can find something with your imagination because if you can do that, you can do anything. <laughs>